Jesus Christ, I thank you and praise you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to see another day. Thank you and praise you, Father God, because you are Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end, Father God. No matter what we may experience in this life, Father God, we know that you're in control. You're God all by yourself. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you, Father God, for allowing us to see a new season, another year, Father God. And this is written in your word, Father God, that... Passover begins a new year, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to reach 2011, 2011 Passover, Father God. Some people didn't make it, Lord Jesus, but we're here, Lord Jesus, and we thank you for it. We take it not for granted that we're here. We may not be what we want to be, Father God. We thank God we're not what we used to be, Lord Jesus. We thank you, the Father God, you've given us a mind to serve you and to stay with you no matter what, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I just ask and pray that you continue to bless us with wisdom beyond our years, Father good God, to do the things that you've called us to do, Father God. We pray in the name of Jesus for this ministry and for the people that are supposed to be here in the name of Jesus. We pray most of all for so that souls be saved, Father God, in these times, Father God. We are soon to return, Father God. I just pray that you continue to use us with your mighty hand, Father God. We worship you, we magnify you, Father God. Teach us your ways, Father God, not the ways of man, but your ways, Father God. Just ask and pray, Father God, as we have this Passover celebration service today, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, that you be, be in the service, Father God. You be the service. You are the reason for this and every season, Father God. We thank and praise you, Father God, for everyone and every household that's represented here, Father God. I pray, Father God, that because we're being faithful, Father God, it's written your word, you will save our households, Father God. Our brothers, our sisters, our cousins, our aunts, our uncles, in the name of Jesus, Father God. That's why we're standing, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody stood, stood for us, Father God, now we're standing in the gap for them, Lord Jesus. We pray, Father God, from the north to the south, the east and the west, Father God. Send forth your power, your Holy Spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And fill them with the love and compassion of this season, Father God. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand for you. But, God, told the Israelites how to protect their firstborn with the blood of the Passover lamb, so they would not die with the Egyptians. This is why we observe Passover, because it was then that God spared his chosen people with the blood of the Passover lamb. We are commanded by God in Leviticus 23, 1, 4, and 5. Exodus chapter 12, Passover instituted. Numbers 28, 16. Deuteronomy 16, 1 and 2. Passover in 2011 will start on Tuesday, the 19th of April, and will continue for seven days until Monday, the 25th of April. Note that in the Jewish calendar, a holiday begins on the sunset of the previous day, so observing Jews will celebrate Passover on the sunset of Monday, the 18th of April. The Bible teaches us to get an understanding so that we will always have an answer for the hope that we have and the Old Covenant is a history or prophetic shadow picture of the things that Jesus Christ fulfilled. God sent Moses to deliver the captives from Egypt and God used the blood of the spotless Passover lamb to seal the covenant between his people and the Old Testament. Because man did not keep that covenant, and man needed to be delivered from sinful nature and eternal damnation, God once again sent a deliverer for atonement for the sins of man. But this time, God would send himself through a virgin birth and allow himself to be sacrificed for the sins of the world. But just like in the old covenant, only those who applied the blood would be saved from they eternal come to Moses death. and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, you shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And he 
shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on, to, on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses, wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs shall they eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, or roast it with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. That which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. This day shall be unto you for a memorial, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And in the first day there shall be a holy convocation. And in the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only that only may be done. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in this selfsame day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore ye shall observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month of the fourteenth day of the month at even, ye shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses. For whosoever eateth that which is leaven, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. Ye shall eat nothing leaven, in all your habitations shall ye eat unleavened bread. Then Moses called for the, all the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families, and kill the Passover. And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lentil in the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the lentil, on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. And ye shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. And it shall come to pass when ye be come to the land which the Lord will give you, according as he hath promised, that ye shall keep his service. And it shall come to pass when your children shall say unto you, What mean ye by this service? that ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt, when he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses. And the people bowed their Make or set you free. When I was a child, I walked as a child, I thought as a child, and I played as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. I am 42 years old by the grace of God. What I look like painting eggs and running around hiding and <laughs> What do I look like chasing a dag on a bunny? What do I look like sitting on a man's lap in a red suit? Those was childish things. And we don't teach our children those things because God has opened our eyes to what he desires, his perfect will. That was his permissive will. He allowed it, and now we desire his perfect will. And that's what it really is all about. If you desire a closer walk with Jesus and live in his perfect will, you press toward those things. Jesus did the Passover, so we observe the Passover. It's just really that simple. It's, that's, that's as brief as I'm going to get with it. That's as theological as I'm going to go with it. 
Jesus observed it, so we observe it. 